Welcome back to my channel. I'm Sophia Dodola. This is Skanta and this is Ayla. And today we're going to be talking to you about passive income and active income. So if you're new here, I teach people how to start a charcuterie business, but I also teach people how to make an active income with the charcuterie business and all the things that come with that, but also how to make a passive income. And I think it's important to have an active and a passive income because then you're always making money. I think a lot of people want to put all their eggs in one basket and they just do one or the other, but that's not where the profit lies. I have both businesses and that's how I can actually get by and pay the bills. Not this pipe dream, dream that people are giving off of like, you can make $5,000 overnight in one night. I'm making $200,000 in a month. Like it's just not realistic and I'm not buying it and it looks good, but it's also upsetting because it's making moms and people out there feel like they can do something and they really most likely can't because the people that are at the top, they're doing it because they're selling this thing and then the people that are doing it just aren't making the money because it's just a pipe dream. So I'm here to keep it real with you um, and tell you that an active income and a passive income actually is quite profitable. I'm not gonna sell you on a six-figure dream except you can actually have a six-figure dream with a charcuterie company and with passive income. But your first year, I wouldn't plan on making six figures. It 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 definitely can happen, but if you're at your full-time job and you can only do the catering or the passive income on the side, I would say you can make five figures in a year. But I wanna be a realist here and not do any false promises. So that's, that's where I'm at. And if you're interested, keep watching. So today, Ayla is going to represent my passive income because she can sleep. And passive income, you can make money literally in your sleep. And Skanta here, my daughter named these daughters, Skanta here is going to represent active income. She's active, she's so active, she forgot to put her clothes on today. It is all of the nectar. All of the nectar is my active income. I have to wake up and I have to go to the farmer's market and get the produce and prep and shop and go style the grazing table, but I make $4,000 from that grazing table. Ayla here has an online course, has an ebook, has a playbook, has some toolkits that you just can go to the link in my bio, buy them immediately, and then watch the course, and I make money from that. And that's nice because I'm doing it, I'm sleeping. I post a reel on Instagram. Hey, check out Board to Business Blueprint. I go to sleep, three people buy it, I made $600. Cool, right? For my lifestyle, I make more money with my catering because the invoices are bigger. My courses are between you know 97 and $500. It's not much money in comparison to what I make with all of the nectar. But the beauty of having both of these things are perfect for me. Because I'm a stay-at-home mom, I don't wanna be gone every weekend styling a grazing table. I wanna be doing the passive income so that I can go to the beach or go to brunch. But I don't always make money over here. You know why? Because I'm not posting on YouTube because I'm with my kids. Because I'm not posting an Instagram reel or a TikTok. Or because I'm not writing back to people in the comments. So sometimes I'm awake and I'm not making any passive income. So when Ayla is awake, I have to hit this one hard and get active income going. And when Skanta's like, whew, I'm tired. I want to be with my kids. Then I relax and I hit this one a little hard during nap time. So I hope this resonates with you. If you want to learn more on how you can make an active and a passive income work for you as a stay-at-home mom, as someone that has a nine to five or you're a student in college, let me know below. I have like so many tips and tricks on this and I'm going to do another segment on how to make it work for you. Thank you. Aw, thanks, Skanta. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.